Hey Zen fam. So I'd like to talk about Phil Harrison. Now some of you out there in the Zen fam are probably not like all that big on your CEOs of companies or even game companies. Well, let me clue you in. Phil Harrison was the gentleman who was basically in charge of Google Stadia. And you can't help but have noticed in the last few days what has happened with Google Stadia, i.e. the inevitable, <laughs> because let's face it, Stadia was, quite literally, the garbage truck on fire. Such potential, all wasted. So, he was the guy that basically said, oh Stadia is the future, I'm in charge of Stadia, and went on and said, this is going to be the big thing, you know, you'll never have to worry about it, this is the future, yada yada yada. All the promises you'd expect somebody in Mr. Harris's position to make. Except that he's never really seemed to know quite what he's doing. Would you like an example? Well, he was around for the beginning of PS3 and we all saw how much of a disaster the early days of PS3 were. Now, anybody new here will know, or sorry, should know, that uh, I am primarily a PlayStation focused gamer. Now, that's not to say that I dislike the other platforms, but Sony just happens to be my favourite. So, with that in mind, I can quite honestly say that when Phil Harrison was in charge, of the early days of PlayStation 3 promotion that uh, he made a pig's ear of it. Much like he made a pig's ear of the launch of the Xbox One. Yes, because Phil Harrison was behind that. And we saw how much of a mess that was, didn't we ladies and gentlemen? Oh yes. The launch of the Xbox One will forever go down in gaming history as a complete an utter debacle. What else has Phil Harrison done? He's done Google, Stadia, he's done the Xbox One, he's done the early days of the PS3. And of course, now he's moving to Metaverse. Oh yes. And we've spoken before, haven't we, about how hopeless and pathetic the metaverse looks and how its development has been what's a nice way to put it feckless Phil Harrison is the kind of gentleman in the gaming sphere that just seems to fail upwards he is the very embodiment of the turtle on a post or fence depending on how you like that particular idiom. Nobody knows how he gets there, but by God he's there. And he seems to have no discernible skills, and he seems to just continually just have things around him fail and crumble into dust as if Thanos came along and went snap and it blows away in the wind and goes nowhere. It's like, at least Jim Ryan, for as fundamentally misunderstanding gaming at every single point, at least he understands about how to make money and promote products. Admittedly, he says the wrong thing more often than not, but he actually is a good numbers guy. You know, he can do business. Phil Harrison... I don't know what that guy can do apart from get a really, really, really nice, clean, even shave on his head. <laughs> it's like a. I just, I just don't see how that guy has gotten job after job after job. And now that we're, he's going to be working for Metaverse. It's double doomed. It's a double doomed. I mean, the hubris of Zuckerberg. And the, the, I don't know, I've run out of superlatives 
to describe the ineptitude of Phil Harrison in the gaming sphere means that Metaverse is basically it's dead before it's even got anywhere to go. It's like it's like there are greyhounds in the trap, right? And all the traps have opened and all the greyhounds are tearing after the hare up the course. Meanwhile, the Metaverse uh, greyhound it's actually been six weeks long since dead sitting in the trap. That's meta right now. That's the metaverse. Because Phil Harrison and Zuckerberg together have just doomed that project. However, this does make for one happy thing. I know this is going to kind of sound like uh, schadenfreude. But it does mean that uh, there's going to be one less high-end VR product in the way of the PSVR 2. Because... For all the money that micro, for all the money that Facebook has, you can't money your way out of making a complete and utter peg veer of a VR launch or a launch of anything really. You know, Stadia could have been something if you know they hadn't overpromised, if it actually was workable, if there was the network there to. To hold it up. I mean, he actually said out loud in an interview with press that ISPs would play ball to make sure people could have stable connections to Stadia because it was the right thing to do. <laughs> the right thing to do! Oh god. Oh, 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 I mean, seriously, the right thing. Wow. It's like, I think I could say this without, without getting around my, without knackering my anti swearing thing here. What a bell end! <laughs> God! Oh. Mm. So at least there's a, there's a more positive future for PSVR 2, which is going to need because PSVR 2 is probably going to be around about the 500 mark. And I mean 500 sterling. I mean, I don't know what it'll be in USD or any other currency, but I reckon, yeah, it's probably going to come out here at, like, 500 quid. Uh, although, admittedly, the Sony have said they're, they're looking to make, like, 3 million units from the jump, and they've already been making the units. So when it comes out, when they decide to actually talk about its release, it should at least be readily available. Although it would seem to be more readily available than PS5, although apparently we keep hearing reports over the months about how they keep trying to upscale the production of the PS5s and they could keep on making new SKUs. I mean like how we recently got that idea they're going to make a another version of PS5 where you can attach a disc drive to it. So you buy it as a discless and can turn it into a disc system. Which I actually think is a very very clever move. And why Sony didn't do that from the get-go I don't know. You know bring out the disc version and the discless version that you can attach a disc to. That would have been perfect. That would have been the absolute killer. Then there would have been nothing that really that could have happened with like Xbox. They could have brought out the Xbox X and the Xbox Series S, and the Xbox Series S would have looked even stupider. So yeah, it's all crazy, crazy, whirling round, flailing madness right now. But. I just try to find the silver linings where I can. So, Phil Harrison out, Stadia down, unfortunately for all the Stadia fans. Uh, but at least, you know, with him in charge of the metaverse, uh, PSVR 2 stands half a chance. <laughs> so that's something, I suppose. But uh, I could be wrong in my, in my assessment. So if you believe me to be wrong, then please, typey, 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 down below, let them bloke know. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Hashtag support Scottish YouTubers. And of course, as always, I ne bother. <laughs>